and one day she captured something creepy outside her window that left her baffled as she couldn't find a logical explanation to figure it out. Take a look. I'm like fucking scared. Um, there is no one standing there, but there is a, a silhouette, like a, a shadow of a person. Um, yeah. The silhouette of a person can be seen just standing there against the wall, but there is nothing there on either side that could cast such a shadow. Also, the curtain quickly moves for an instant on the top left window. She later responded with a follow-up video showing that the shadow figure is now gone. I do believe in those kind of things a bit, but not as much. And I was so scared. I was not a little bit scared, I was scared. But then I decided to enjoy my bank holiday weekend and people from UK, I hope you enjoyed the bank holiday. Yeah. So as you see, there is nothing, nothing at all. And that's a lamppost on like next to my neighbors and it would project like here so yeah nothing so it wasn't a spray painting or anything like that so just what could have caused such a strange occurrence was it something paranormal or something natural once again the final judgment is yours to me Number two, Shadow Peak. Why? I'm in the kitchen here. Say hi, Bernard. He never lets me talk. And then I see that. And this is the third time I've come through. This is exactly how I see them. Three times now. I think I'm lucky. Number one, the uninvited. Thank you. 
Ну. He was a tricycle driver who rented a one-bedroom room located on the second floor of the building. The room next to him was occupied by a man named Asher, who was a newly graduated driver. Asher would share his passion for driving with Nagarian and tell him stories about his experience. But on the second day of his stay, he noticed Asher being less talkative and trying to avoid him. The day after, he saw Asher's younger sister in the hallway and said hello, but was completely ignored. A little while later, Nagarian started to feel uncomfortable inside his room. He began to hear footsteps outside his door, but whenever he went to check, there was no one there. One night, he was awakened by a noise outside his door. When he opened it, he saw a tall figure in a long black coat standing in the hallway. He was unable to see its face, yet he could feel its eyes staring right at him, which chilled him to the core. So he quickly slammed his door shut and when he looked outside the window, he could see the figure disappear into the shadows. The next night, creepy activity began to occur inside his room. He said he heard someone washing the dishes in the kitchen, but he was all alone. He woke up at 12 a.m. and saw his blanket slowly being pulled away from him, but didn't pay too much attention to it, as he was barely awake. Then the next day while mopping the floor, he heard footsteps heading towards the bathroom and decided to record. This is what he captured. <laughs> The next night he was preparing his bags for an overnight office visit in Zambales, over in the Philippines when the bag suddenly closed by itself. Pidyo pidyo lang. Magpita tayo. The bag falls over by itself and later on Around 3 a.m., he is unable to sleep, so he just continues to record after hearing a noise. What he captures gave him the chills.
After seeing the chair slide towards him on its own, he ran straight to his car and ended up sleeping inside it for the rest of the night. The following day he moved out, so hopefully whatever this figure was that he saw, it doesn't follow him, but we never know. With this one here. That poor girl was so confused. This place is so wet. <gasps> oh, you scared the f out of me. Yo, you need some help, bro? Yo. Oh, what are you doing? Watch this. What? Whoa! 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 <laughs> I was about to take a shower when he noticed it was already occupied by a rat washing itself like a human. <laughs> 